hello my friends welcome back again to my channel i'm sorry friends you know i did the video just myself so sometimes my editing might not be good but i'm just a one man squad so this week i'll be talking mostly about bat twing so on this channel for this week and next week i'll be doing mostly bat twing blouse on how different ways on how to draft a bat twing so this week is all about bat twing bat twing bat twing yes so i'll be showing you different ways you can take measurements for your bat twing for your clients or if you want to do it for yourself so you know my channel is all about beginner sewing so i'm going to make this as easy as possible for any beginners to understand what i'm saying so here i have my tape measure and here i have my model here i just turn it <laughs> you see this is the front guys but i'm just going to because the bad twing so i'm just going to show you the first method on how to uh, take measurement for your bad twing for yourself or for your clients so i'll just turn it this way like so so as you can see my mother here has a very beautiful back and the first thing if you want to take your measurement for your bad twing the first thing you're going to do first yes i'm going to show you one method is remember this is center back this is the back that's where our spinal cord is so you take your tape measure like this from here from the center back you know the bad twing has to come with the with the sleeve all together so you set her back like so you hold it then you see the way i keep moving my hands like so you just follow the shape so it depends on where you want your sleeve to be or for your client if the client said you want the sleeve above the elbow move it above the elbow or after the elbow just keep on moving like this so here yeah, I have 20. So before the elbow is 14. So here yeah, is my elbow for my for my model here. So that's the first formula if you want to take your measurement for your bat twink. And also don't forget your neck width and your neck depth measurement when you are doing that as well. When you're drafting your fabric or your pattern paper. So the second step is this. Now I will turn my model this way. So now the second step is this. From here, you take your shoulder to shoulder measurements for the client. Shoulder to shoulder. From here, like so. Sorry, guys. See, from here. Let me turn it because you might, you might not be seeing my hand properly. I'll turn it this way. From here to here is the shoulder to shoulder measurement. So you take, put your tape measure like this. And there. So that's the shoulder to shoulder measurement. So what I have here is 11.5 for my clients. So that's the second formula. So you have a 11.5 um, here for your shoulder to shoulder measurement. So the next one you're going to do is to determine the length of the sleeve that you want for your client or for yourself. So from here, measure the length of your sleeve. If you want your sleeve to be above the elbow, it's 10 inches. Below the elbow, sorry, after the elbow, it's 15 inches. It just depends on where you want the length of your, of your sleeve to be or for your client. So you have the shoulder to shoulder measurements. So what you simply do is this, you divide the shoulder to shoulder by two. So yeah, I have 11.5. So I don't have calculator yet. So 11.5 divided by two, I think that is um, 5.7 seven inches, roughly like that. So if you get that 5.7 inches, when divide by two, then you have your length of sleeve. Let's say the length of sleeve I have here, I want is 10 inches. You had it 10 inches plus 5.5 that is uh i think 15 15.7 inches so that's what you put on your fabric to draft at the pattern paper or your or your fabric 
So that's the two formula on how to take measurement for your peplum blouse. So another the third formula is after taking those first two measurements is this. If you want your peplum blouse to be, uh, if you want to attach peplum, sorry, if you want to attach peplum to your batching blouse, you simply go measure it from here to your bust, to your other bust. So what I have here is 12 inches. You had 2 inches to it, so what I have is 14 inches. So from here, you get the length of the of the of the of the bat wing that you want to draft at on your fabric the length so or you can also determine the length like this from here so that here is 12 inches for your for your under your bust so you just simply had half, half an inch to it half an inch then you had belts to it i did that on my video on my latest video now so you have you wash it when you have belt to it, you have simply have two inches to the belt. From there, you can now add your peplum. Let's say from here to here is under boss. You have half an inch. Then the belt is two inches. Belt here is two inches. So from here, you need. Let's say from here you have to put your peplum from here to your waist. So what you do here, simply measure here. What I have here is seven inches. So you create a peplum there for your to attach to the belt here, you know, so you can fall on top of your hip. So my friends, that's the formula on how to create your battering blouse. And there are other ways of creating a beautiful battering blouse or gown. So but this is just about the top. So I'll be talking more about how to create a battering design for your top, mostly just has to do with the top. So for now, if you enjoyed this tutorial, one peace, one love, and bye for now. Bye for now, and please don't forget to subscribe as well and share my videos. So bye for now. Bye.